this song and give glory to Jesus. Kumari, Kumari. I, more, I want more volume on my guitar, please. Yeah, thank you. I went to a youth camp because my mom asked me to go. My plan was to be there for three days and after the camp to run away and kill myself. On the second day, Jesus spoke to me, the audible voice of Jesus Christ. He spoke to me saying, Benny, even though you are called useless, I can transform your life and I can make you a new person. 
But I said, Jesus, you know I'm useless. You know I'm a failure. I failed in every aspect. And you know I'm going to die in six months. What good can come out of a high school dropout like me? He said, Benny, you surrender your life and leave that rest to me. And so I did that. And at 16, I started off a brand new journey with Jesus. The verse that was spoken was, if anyone is in Christ, whether you're useless, educated, illiterate, or worthless, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. He did not say that the old will slowly go away and the new will slowly come in. And for me, the transformation was overnight. And being a failure, I could not imagine how can God use me. And this verse, James 1.5, I went and I asked God, God, I need wisdom. I need your strength. I need purpose in my life because I have nothing. And Jesus gave me such abundance of wisdom and purpose that today the world is still reeling and amazed at how can a person with this kind of a stature, with a background like this, achieve things? How can he even communicate things like this? My dream was to go to one country. I went and I asked Jesus, what is your dream for my life? Parents, it is important for you to see God's will even for your children, not just allowing the marks card to decide what their future is. That's a big mistake our Indian culture does. Go back to Jesus and seek what is his will for our lives. And I did that in 2001. God did the unthinkable. He said, Benny, I want you to travel to every country by 2010. And I said, God, with an Indian passport, how can and how far can I travel? Now Indian passport is done well. But today this is my one passport. I do carry my passport along for every meeting. And this passport, about 16 passports here. This passport is the proof of how I have traveled to 257 countries. And in 2010, I even broke the world record and became the fastest man to travel to every country in the shortest time. Now if this is what Jesus can do, that as long as you work right in the eyes of God, he will never fail you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And today he has taken me to all these countries to proclaim his good news for his glory. In this world that we live in, we have just come out of COVID. Now the wars are happening. Everything is so, so much fearful for people. There's one song that really sticks to my heart and my mind is because he lives, I can face tomorrow. My friends, Hold on to the truth and the teachings of the word of God, not what the news and the world defines. And for us, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. We can face tomorrow. God sent his son, they call him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he bled and died, to buy my pardon, and empty grave is there to prove my savior. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know, as I know, he holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives, but greater still the calm assurance this child can face on certain days because he lives. Because Because he lives, and then one day 
vengeance because he lives. 